All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Danya Allah coming back again with another lesson, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Racha Hakodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth, and Shalom to the hopeful elect brothers and sisters that believe in this truth and fear in the names of Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai. All right, and uh, I was just watching um video that was put up 20 minutes ago by the uh, elder uh, brother uh, uh, Manat Zakba alright he entitled it Hebrew Israelite unity is a pipe dream you know and a pipe dream you know he defined it basically as uh, it's just a fantasy man it's an illusion alright so and you have you know when you read the scriptures and you read about all the different things that were going on during the time of the Lord Yahawashai and the time of the acts of the uh, apostles is no different from what's going on now it's no different so let me read this precept I'm gonna go to um see here I believe is in uh, 2nd Corinthians the 14th chapter or well, 1st Corinthians 14 around the 33rd verse Thirty second verse so here we go 1st Corinthians chapter 14 30, and 32 and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets now what does that mean that means that, you know, if you are a prophet, okay, in the, in a past life, all right, you will be reincarnated to be a prophet in this life, all right, because the prophets are back, all right, the Most High uh, speaks unto the people through the prophets, okay, so the prophets are back, and they're primarily among uh, Great Millstone. Okay, which you you may have uh, those that are prophets, which are of the elect. Okay, that are amongst the um, the uh, other other camps. Okay, that hasn't been uh, you know uh, uh, brought to the to, you know complete understanding of the word. Okay, and it is all on the Lord's time. Okay, for him. Uh, Uniting all the elect together. All right. So if the spirits of the prophets are subject unto the prophets, if the prophets are back now, then who else is back now? The false prophets. Okay. You always come back in your lot. Uh, let me get that Daniel chapter 12, right? This is Daniel chapter 12. In verse uh, verse 12, it says, Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. But go thy, thy way till the end be, and we are in the end. How do we know the signs, the uproars of the peoples, the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, numerous earthquakes going on around the world, the signs in the heavens, okay, the, the the moon being red with blood, solar eclipses, all these different prophecies are here, right? The charagma, okay, is on is 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 is, is more and more coming into the forefront, okay, so. That's how we know that we're in the end. You know, you can also read Matthew's the twenty-first, the twenty-fourth chapter. For thou shalt rest, meaning what? He's gonna die, and he's gonna do what? He's gonna rest in the spiritual realm. He's gonna go into the spiritual realm. All right. That's why the scriptures say when when King David died, when thou when he um uh, Nathan, the prophet came to uh, I believe it was Nathan the prophet and. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, uh, I would have to read that again. But 
the prophet came unto King David and said, uh, uh, when thou sleep, when thou uh, sleep with thy fathers. Okay. So when after Daniel dies and goes into the heavens, right? For thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. Right. So he's going to stand in his lot. The portion of being a prophet, okay, that being given unto him is going to be the same in this time. So Daniel, okay, done ya Allah, okay, which is in the Hebrew, which means the Lord is my uh, judge or the Lord is, Lord is my power, okay, he's back today and he's prophesying and he's amongst GMS, okay? So Daniel, the prophet, is back today in his lot, which is that of a uh, prophet. That's his lot. So the same thing with a false prophet, okay? A false prophet is also going to come back and be in his lot, okay? And when you look at, you know, when you read through the, the Gospels, you have, you have different divisions of Israelites that... You know, they didn't agree upon all these different things, man. They didn't agree upon, you know, the same thing is what I meant, Salakia. Right? So you have the same today between the different camps. Right? You got, uh, uh, and, and GMS would have to be what? Uh, those who are following Yahweh Shai. Right? But now let's, let's, uh, let's go here. You know, and uh, see, we're going to go to Matthew chapter 22. You got different divisions of Israelites, you know. You have different divisions of Israelites. You got the true, the, uh, uh, the true prophets and the false prophets, as I said. Okay, so that's why, hey, you can't have unity because somebody is right and somebody is not right and that's that's a balance right there somebody's right and somebody's not right and you know as the scriptures say the deceiver and the deceiver and the deceiver are his so the lord has false prophets set up to draw in the people that he doesn't want okay so um let's go here And what we're going to do is we're going to go down. I just want to use this as an example. We're actually going to get some of these uh, words here. I'll probably, you know, I'll go to the um, the Blue Letter Bible. So we can pull some of these words. Right, so uh, you know, this is this is great how this uh, blue letter Bible, um, you know, basically it kind of gives you like a headline or a uh, a headline for these different things here, right? It kind of sums up particular verses. Uh, you see, uh, tribute to Caesar. So here we go. So here is the, uh, the Pharisees, right? Now you have wicked Pharisees and you have righteous Pharisees. Okay. But in this case, this is the wicked Pharisees because they're trying to get the Lord to slip up and say something that, you know, they could uh, hold a charge against them. Right. So this is, uh, this one is, you know, it's titled tribute to Caesar or whatever. Um, it says, uh, Matthew 22 and 15. Then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his words. Right. So they trying to trip him up. Right. And they sent 
out unto them their disciples with the Herodians, saying, Master, we know that thou art true and teachest the way of the Most High in truth, neither carest thou for any man, for thou regardest not the person of men. Right, so the, you know, the Lord is not uh, a respecter of persons, man. He judges with a uh, righteous judgment and not based upon his emotion. That's, that's uh, what is that, uh, Isaiah, the 11th chapter, right? Tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? Right, so <laughs> basically, you know, you know, should we give tribute to Caesar or not give it to him? You know, should we pay his like, you know, should we pay our taxes or not? Right. So they're trying to trip him up and get him to say something. So then they could, you know, charge him with something and then, you know, they, they could detain him. You know, it says. Uh, but Yahweh shall perceive their wickedness, the wicked, the wicked Pharisees. Right. And said, why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Shew me the tribute money, and they brought it unto him unto him a penny. And he said unto them, Whose whose is this image in subscription? Right? So who you know, whose whose face is on the money? Who who wrote who who uh who wrote on this money? Right? It was Caesar's. It says, They say unto him, Caesar's, then saith he unto them. Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's. So, hey, give Caesar back his money. <laughs> and unto the Most High, the things that are the Most High. Okay? So, really I got that to get this word Pharisees. Okay? Because you had two. I'm sure there, you know, there may have been more. But you have the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And they... Or Israelites, but they believe in different things. Okay. So, but <laughs> did the Lord Yahweh Shai and his disciples come together with them? No. So the same thing today. Now the Lord, you know, he's absent from us physically, but he's here in spirit. So the same thing with the, the, the disciples of the Lord uh how was I because somebody somebody has the hundred percent truth man and that's that's a great millstone right and we're we're not we're not gonna be unified with somebody who who teaches that the <laughs> you know that the karagma is sleeping with white women okay or that is a it's a uh, a a philosophy or it's Christianity man if you teaching that man you and, and you got people following you, following you, and believing in that, you are gonna have blood on your hands. We're not gonna unify with them, them people, man. Those, those Israelites, okay, that are not teaching the true doctrine. It's all about teaching the truth, okay. Um, so that word for Pharisee is. Let's get it. Strong's G, 5330. Pharisaias. Pharisaias. Pharisaias, okay? So, which it says it has a uh, Hebrew origin here, which is uh, Parash. Let me check that out real quick. To make distinct, to declare, distinguish, separate, clarify. Let's get it here. It says a sect. Let's let's look up the word. Let's look up the word sect real quick. It says a sect that seems to have started after the Jewish exile. In addition to Old Test Testament books, the Pharisees recognized in oral tradition a standard of belief and life that sought for distinction and praise by outward observance and external rights and by outward forms of piety you know basically showing showing things uh, uh, externally and the Lord talked about that right 
They are as whited sepulchers. They look good on the outside, but on the inside is dead man's bones. It says, um, they sought the distinction of praise by outward observance and external rites and by outward forms of piety and such as ceremonial washings, fastings, prayers, alms, uh, giving, and comparative ne <laughs> negligent to genuine uh, comparatively negligent to genuine piety. So you got, and the Lord said, "What ye hypocrites?" The word hypocrite means an actor, a pretender. They pretend to uh, uh, serve and love the Most High. You got pretenders today, okay, and. You know, they're in that spirit of, of, of uh, uh, being all decked out with their garments. And, uh, you know, the, the garments all studded. They got the nicest garments on, right? They marching through the, marching through the streets, right, in, 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 in unison like an army, right? Trying to show, <laughs> trying, trying to show <laughs> piety outwardly, man. But on the inside, they ain't right. Right? Let me keep let me keep uh, reading. Because it says what? It says, negligent of genuine piety. So let's look up that word up here. A sect, a sect that seems to have started after the Jewish exile. So let's look up the word sect. And then we're going to look up the word genuine real quick. So we get an understanding. You know, like the like our elders taught us, is always is 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 a uh, very crucial to understand the words that you're reading. Because how else will you understand what you're reading? You know, basically breaking the words down to the <laughs> very last compound, right to his most basic form to get that understanding, man. So let's look up the word here for sect. Type in define sect. sect. Okay, here you go. Sect, a group of people with somewhat different religious beliefs, typically regarded as heretical. That's where you get the word, uh, the, the, the root word, her heretic, heresy, right? They have a different opinion about the scriptures right but it's the wrong one you know the scriptures talk about many being deceived by their own vain opinion okay it says from those of a longer group to which they belong uh, often derogatory a group that has separated from an established church a non-conformist church a philosophical or political group, especially one regarded as extreme or dangerous. <laughs> right? So, the Pharisees did not teach or believe the same thing that the Lord Yahweh Shai and his disciples did. Alright? So, there was a difference of opinion. Right? But once again, somebody has the truth. Okay, a hundred percent truth. Right, so that's what you have a, a, a sect. So when it says a sect that seems to be started after the Jewish exile, okay, you know, these are those Pharisees that, you know, had these different, um, <laughs> these different ceremonies, man, you know, different. Uh, tra tradition of of ways that that they they, they do they did things. It, it says what uh, fastings and prayers and washing of the hands, right? But they don't you know they 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 forget about the weightier matter the the weightier matters of the truth, man. So uh, let me see here. Uh, let's read this right here. It says, comparatively negligent of genuine piety, they prided themselves on their 
fancied good works, right? So they're proud, you know. But we know that, <laughs> you know, this is this is not of 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 works, but of the grace of the Most High. Not of works, but of the grace of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So let me um. Let's get the word for genuine. And I want to actually get that uh, here in the etymology dictionary, which this is another good dictionary to use. Eto means truth. Ology means study. All right. So it's the study of the truth. All right. The truth about words. So let's get uh, genuine. Genuine. Right, it says natural, not acquired. It's from gen, uh, genuous, native, natural, uh, natural, innate. Uh, it, it says the root is a uh, genere to beget to produce. Right, uh, Salakia. It says uh, give birth, beget, perhaps influenced from the form contrasted from. Adulterous, spurious, uh, genuine means knee. Doesn't really have much on there, but right, it says uh, uh, innate. Let me let's get that word innate. Right, inborn, uh, natural, originating. It says uh, philosophy originating in the mind. So, so it says genuine piety, right? So, a being, being uh, uh, okay, truly pious and dedicated unto the Most High on the inside, okay. In your mind, having a good conscience unto the most high in your mind. Right? So these guys weren't genuine. They weren't sincere. They were just pretending to be by their outward works. Okay? So now um here's another thing we could do. We could do this here. Uh fair Let's type this in difference. And this is this is almost uh this is like impromptu. I didn't really plan this out between sad to season Pharisees, okay? So let's check this out. So it says uh, the differences, differences between the Sadducees and the uh, Pharisees. Okay, it says the main difference between the Pharisees and Sadducees was their differing opinions on the supernatural aspect of religion. But things, but to put things simply, simply, the Pharisees believed in the supernatural. You know, angels, demons, heaven. Uh, hell, which there is no hell, okay, and so on, while the Sadducees did not. So you had these different Israelites that believed in different things. And when you read uh, also, and they also put it right here, Matthew 22 and 23. So, right, they believed in these different things. Uh, let's read some more of this too. And then we're gonna move on to the Sadducees, because these this this is the 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 the, uh, the wicked uh, Pharisees and scribes and the Sadducees. Okay, they are here today. They are these other camps that don't teach in sincerity and in truth and don't promote the name of the Most High. Well, you have some that do. Use the name of the Most High, but they don't teach in sincerity. 
So those are these other camps, man. Okay? IUIC, uh, uh, GOCC, um, what is it? Uh, one, uh, one, uh, one body. Okay, one body in Yahawashai. All these different things, man. All these different camps. They're back today. Right? And there's a division. There's a separation. So it says, uh, it says they had, they held strenu strenuously to a belief in the existence of good and evil angels, which that's true, and to the ex expectation of the Messiah, and they cherished the hope that the dead after pr uh, preliminary experience, uh, either of reward or penalty, penalty in Hades, which, you know, Hades just means death, um, would be recalled to life by, by him and be requited each according to his individual deeds. You know, and it's just going to, you know, basically uh, what they believe, right? So now you have, you have the, the Pharisees. And now also, we're going to go down further to... Uh, 22 and we'll see here and 23 it says Yahweh Shai answers the Sadducees so let's read a little bit of that and let's get to Sadducees too it says the same day came to him the Sadducees would say that there is no resurrection and asked him now what do they mean by that there is no resurrection Meaning that uh, your spirit doesn't rise into the heavens, right? The word resurrection means uh, thing rise, okay? That thing is your spirit, okay? So when your spirit rises into the heavens, into the spiritual realm, so they don't believe in that, right? It says... Um, The same day came him, came to him the Sadducees, which said that there is no resurrection, and asked him, saying, Master, Moses said, If a man die having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and, and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a wife, deceased and having no issue left for his wife unto his brother left his wife unto his brother likewise the second also and the third unto the seventh the last of all the woman died also therefore in the resurrection whose wife shall she be of the seven for they had for they all had, had her, right? And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Ye do err not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of the Most High. For in the resurrection, they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of the Most High. Right? So in, in the spiritual realm, you don't have sex. Alright, marriage is sex. You don't have sex. You know, uh, and just as the angels, the angels don't have sex, okay? So, but they didn't believe in the resurrection. So you had these different sects of Israelites. It was back, it was, you had them back then, and you have them now. Okay? So there is a division. Okay? And let me, uh, let me grab this right here.
we're going to go to John chapter 17 because the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai of the nation of Israel are going to be unified. The Lord prayed for the elect to be unified. Okay, he prayed for particular Israelites to be unified, but not all of them. Okay. Let me see here. It says, uh, Bear with me for a second while I find this verse. So this is John chapter 17 and 11. It says, and now I am no more. Hold on. We start at verse 9. It says, um, John chapter 17 and verse 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Now, when you get get this word world here, what you see right there? Cosmos. Right? That orderly arrangement, that government of what? Israel. That's what that's talking about, right? The world of Israel. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Okay? He's praying for the elect. Not all of Israel. Right? So you're going to have those who are going to have the truth and those who are not going to have the truth, man. Those who are teaching the right thing and those who are not teaching the right thing. Those who are going to be unified in the spirit and in truth and in sincerity and those who are not. You know? So we, you know, we don't do you we, we ain't doing no unity camps, man. If you ain't teaching the right thing, we ain't got nothing to do with you, man. It says, um, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Right? It says, and I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. Right? That they may be one as we are. So does that mean that the Heavenly Father and Yahawashai is the same entity? No. How can all these different individuals be the same entity impossible right so what does it mean by that they may be one as we are that they may all agree upon the same thing the truth okay right the only unity is between the elect okay and if you're not of the elect then you won't be uh, uh, the elect won't unify with uh, uh, those that are of the two thirds, man. You know, like I said, the Lord is gonna bring the elect that are out, uh, that are in these other camps out in, in in due season. So you know, I just wanted to do a uh, quick and prompt two on that. Go through some of these things, man. 
hey, you have the same things now. There's 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 uh, differences of opinions. Okay, different Israelite groups that believe in uh, uh, different things and teach different things, right? But GMS has the 100% truth. All right, and is teaching, you know, the scriptures, uh, the scriptures directly and correctly, man. So with that, I'm gonna say shalom.